Hello, hello, hello. Back again. After A, some procrastination, and B, more difficulties editing. Ah, my laptop. State of the art. Not but three years ago. And now. Now it's just really giving me such a headache. Oh well, can't be helped. Still, like the genuine process of editing, I do enjoy and I am like enjoying practicing it more and more. And again, something to do. So on to episode three in this series, as well as, well naturally by the nature of the series, episode three of One Division, now in color. Uh, and I cannot wait. I think, like, uh, based on recent marketing that's been weirdly pushed to me, somebody's already watching the show. Like, it gets more and more meta as it goes along. So, well, I keep saying meta. I, I mean, like, the nature of it. She's trapped herself within a show, or somebody has. And I keep using meta to refer to an external factors at force here. And as a substitute for, like, self-aware. Either way, I'm into that stuff. And it looks like it will go further and further into it as the show progresses. And I am very excited for it. Yeah. I'm also, like, very interested where this comedy will go now. Because, like, the next two episode, episodes should take place in, like, the 60s and 70s. And that would be an interesting time to see portrayed by this show. At least to me. Then now I... Like, uh... I'm a big fan of two ongoing franchises, uh, Doctor Who and Lupin the Third, and those kind of are windows back to that time for me, you know, just because like they were airing back in the 70s and the 80s. Well, I mean, Lupin the Third, I think barely, yeah, for the most part, it was mostly films and TV specials at that time, but that's all semantics unrelated to the show we're talking about today. One delusion stuck in my head, well, dang it. I literally went the whole week without thinking about that, and then... Well, here we are. Ah, now, I, I seem to just be ramp uh, ramping for no good reason whatsoever, so I think it's time for an edit. What am I doing to myself? Make me hold a scalding heart. Well, crap. All this stuff. Better this week, I think. I spoke too soon. Strange Ooh. happened with Dottie. Something strange happened. Before that, too. It's hard. Well, they're zooming in on that one this time, so you don't miss it. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh, if this doesn't solve the problem, I don't know what will. Like, this is unacceptable. I've lowered the quality. I ain't running anything else in the background. Except for this. And it's like, I shouldn't be in the theater. This is basic streaming. This is atrocious in every sense of the word. Can't get past like five solid seconds without uh, without stuttering and needing to be buffed again. And that, that's inexcusable. I just cannot allow it. That is horrendous. Let's see. I need to figure something out here. Work on that. New window. See if it works better on this browser. Just. Huh? 
I'm the best here. I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind here. It's just... Mm, no, no, no. <sighs> work. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Melt. Sort of got it. That's like when I went for the capture to, for the footage, it, it went smoothly. It wasn't it? hiccup doing that. I don't know what it is. I do not know what the problem is. I can't. It's... Uh, I, I, there's no way for me to fix that. It's so bad. It can't go five seconds. I, I just want to watch this show. I hate months that hasn't been preempted by either being cancelled or being out for months at a time beforehand. It's like... I just have one thing I wanted to watch. It's just... It's just hanging there. Like that. I just, I just wanted to watch this. I've spent more time than the episode length, minus the credits, than I would be you know, if, I, if I watched the thing. Instead of trying to have to fix it, then it's just, at the end of the day, there's nothing I could fix. I have pretty good internet. Pretty decent laptop that doesn't stutter like this on any of the other services, I, I just don't understand. Like Netflix, Crunchyroll, um, what's it? Um, Funimation, Amazon Prime. I, I've used them all, and it's like none of them failed as badly. Especially because like it was really bad. But the intro, it's a musical thing. Well, I. Imagine just stopping and starting every, uh, I mean, any song, five seconds apart. Like, first two to three times, like, you're just mildly annoyed, but as it goes on, it's just and worse and worse. Like, it's part of a tight pattern. And you expect to be through it, and then the more pauses happen, you realize the longer and longer it's taking, the more and more it's messing with the flow. That's bad. That's bad. I got like. It fluctuates, but like right now it's around 35 megabits download, 46 upload. Multiply streaming HD videos at the same. This is good internet. This is good. 35.3 megabits download speed at present, and you can do 46.2 megabits per second upload speed. Latency, 6 milliseconds. That is good internet. I've set it to standard definition, not 4K or anything. That's like, even then, even then, it's not enough. I just don't. Okay, that's it. Setting. Settings, edit app settings. Yeah, one gig. 
be a bit better. That should be fine. That should be fine. I don't understand why it would be so. It's a baffling to me. One gigabit uh, per hour. I should be well and truly over. There's a fine but like. I just think dragging me insane. This is to be like the last try. We let the little ladies keep tabs on their growing babies with fruit. Makes it so. I mean, even for the 70s, that's... That's, uh, not good. Very sexist. Hmm. Well, I have nerves of steel, so there goes your theory, Mr. Doctor. I mean, the nerves of steel line is funny, but probably should have been. Ibanian or something? Would have been funnier. What? What? I can't tell if that's supposed to be a joke or reality breaking down. I can't wait. Oh, I love that. Be a proud so corny. <laughs> oh my god. It's on the punch time for the damn show. Okay, that's cool. Hope for a girl. Hmm. <laughs> Funny. Oh, that's gonna come alive and try to kill someone, aren't they? Wait, but if it's happened so fast overnight, why would it be? Okay. Braxton Hicks contractions, also known as false labor, usually Jumped in for it. I don't think I have much of a chance for anything. This is a sudden magical pregnancy. There's nothing in the books about that. Exactly. What's happening what the now? Dickens? That's such a scary cat. Let's abandon the kitchen! Wait, he's his no. wife? It's just not oh. quite right. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute, actually. 
clever. She's clearly editing reality. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Such a weird sound for him to make. It's not like you can call the same doctor in. Okay, so what's going to be in this ad? Shield, Hydra Sword. Tell me what's going on here. Escape to a world. The bubble ad reference. Okay. Come on. Hydra Sword. Okay, that's just Hydra, right in the name of it there. Yeah. What are our powers again? They just seem to be... <laughs> uh, very funny. Quite a legged. By legged, you can fly. And also go intangible, I think. Hmm. I think we'll do another meta moment. Yeah, the way they're filming it has certainly changed up again. Oh, and we're back to sitcom. No, that's not going to hide it. No, no, it's Foxy. You'll have to let me borrow it sometime. But first, I gotta borrow a bucket. Did she have hexagon hoops? No, it, yeah, hexagon. Okay, that's a nice goat. That's not like the second Doctor War. Bingo. How did she... It's just... I'm sorry. There's no way... That doesn't hide it. That clearly doesn't. Okay, maybe with the sleeves. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I was right about it being alive, but sadly disappointed about it trying to kill people. Get to it all. Back of the head. So. <laughs> and Mr. Haddix has got nothing. Tried to once upon a time, that goose, but didn't work. No, stork. This point, I am helping Mr. Haddix do a handstand. Wait, why? I'm pretty sure you could have had a better story. Convenient Phil Skull. <laughs> Wanda, I landed a promotion. Okay. I think that's unrealistic um vertical promotion. Is that what I think it is? Oh, How incredibly convenient. Wait. Uh, 
Okay. You, you know you're breathing, right? Come back and hear you. Okay, this is coming. I feel like you'd switch out horror music and this would be very poltergeisty. How I, does she have any medical training? Like, that could be. What is happening? Oh. I have a sneaking suspicion because I know the comic book history. Will be a twin along with that one. They're in the kitchen. Like, this is very full hardy. I can only imagine I'm freaking out. Someone should probably be down there. So it doesn't hit its head? Thank you, Doctor. All in a day's work. She's back on her feet already? I only just realized that, but... Uh... You might have what it takes to be a nurse. Wonderful. All the damage being cleaned up so quickly. Hmm. Ralph looks better in the dark, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I. It was better when there wasn't one there. That's just kind of becoming a bit too negative. Oh. His name is. Oh. Guess who's coming next episode of some point. He was huh. killed by Ultron, wasn't he? Ooh, I like this. It's getting into it now. Ooh, that's a sword pendant. Yeah, I thought it was like one of those fish pendants with a religious icon. Yeah. She came here because. She came here because. Oh, this is all becoming rather intense. They're all acting very suspiciously now. She had a rush home. Rush home how? Oh. Okay. That was intriguing. I can't show this. Immediate copyright shock. Really sucks because it's really good. Oh. Dang it. What am I going to do for a thumbnail? Yeah, I'll figure something out. Hmm. Will that be the end of it? So I will just switch on over to this. Hit 
been running the whole time. There'll be a lot to sort through because of the various technical issues, but hey, it is what it is. So. Huh. The show seems to be escalating how much it puts in the self-aware elements. And based on some of the trailers I've been marketed with, despite watching the show, it does seem like very soon, within like the next two episodes or so, like they will be fully dividing the time of the show between like the self-contained stuff and the little bubble Wanda has made for herself and some still a fact you know, it's not surprising given we now have a solid character who we've been introduced to, interacted with, and seen with, seen a little bit in the last two episodes, been shunted on out into the middle of nowhere. So that is going to be interesting to see how it affects on that side. I am curious what the point of these ads are, because right now we have Sword doing stuff in and about the area just seeing the symbol all over the place. Then we have the likes of um, Hydra constantly getting name dropped and all sorts of things. I missed the specific reference in the first episode, but I definitely felt, at least by the mentioning of the name Sark, more of a reference to S.H.I.E.L.D. than anything, but little bit was wrong. But in the last two, like this one especially, it was just blatantly just Hydra on the box there. So like, Oy. Like I am just curious as to what's going on with those and if it will be revealed later on down the line. Hmm. I thought there was very nice um Well now Wanda had that little moment with the, her twins. You know, and just reminiscing over the loss of her own twin. That was very interesting. And then we... Oh God, I, I forget her name, unfortunately. But um, supporting character, you know, who was in uh, Sword. Geraldine? Yeah, G Geraldine. It was Geraldine. She brings up the fact that, you know, he was killed by Ultron. Uh, Ultron. Uh, tw uh, Wanda's twin, Petro. Meh. Meh. Yeah, and then just the way the acting shifts between the two of them, because they play it very well, like it's in a sitcom. And then it's like Wanda kind of wakes up for a second from her own dream and becomes deadly serious. And it is quite a treat. Treat. Yeah. So I did enjoy that part. At the beginning, I think I would have liked the intro a lot better if for some reason it wasn't stuttering during it. And I will call this out now. Like, I'd probably include the clip I said earlier. I have great internet. And it's like, I should not be struggling to watch this at standard definition. Yet I am. And I am furious about that. Like, I have way better internet than a lot of people have in America because again Bobby really messed that up. Like at this rate of internet, it's like it's not just about compressing it, it's just the baseline delivery of it that seems to be at fault here. It got better as it went on. But like simply pausing it doesn't seem to fix the issue with it. For some reason, needs to be streaming consistently to you for a few minutes before it sorts itself out and actually, you know, starts working properly. And that's like kind of unacceptable because, like, if something's on like for so long, like this, those few minutes were really significant out of that episode. And it was like really setting up the premise of it still being within the uh, sitcom world she created. The, what to make things stand out. And, uh, well, what eventually happens to stand out and become more of a 
shock because I missed those few early minutes. It really broke the immersion, especially the, the theme song. That's like something that's supposed to really lull you into what's going on. Make uh, anything outside of that feel jarring. And like it's <laughs> every couple every couple of seconds it was stuttering or it was blatantly stopping to buffer or load more. It's like really affecting my enjoyment of this. Uh, otherwise, enjoying the show still. Looking forward to where it's going. Other notable things from this episode. I did overall like um, how poltergeisty it felt with Wanda's pregnancy. Like I said it before, you could swap out different music or just more blatant ghost horror music and it would fit perfectly. Uh, the other thing is disappointed the stork did not attack anybody. But uh, you know, that's, that's a minor thing. Who knows, maybe it'll pay off later. Maybe it's just a, a nitpick I have. Nobody else will. I specifically am cheering. Uh, during Teen Titans, uh, when Beast Boy attacked the uh, scientist who was tormenting him in a cell, because I was shouting, attack him, attack him, attack him, and he did, and I was so ecstatic. I was, I'm not sure if I was hoping for that again, you know, or, you know, I was just like hedging my bets. Like if it did pay off while supporting myself, whereas that one did, and it just lost to the demos of time. But like I was really invested in that stork attacking someone for some reason. Oh well, I'm just kind of weird like that. Thumbnail, thumbnail, something with Geraldine lying in the. Yes, yes, I can do the Brady Bunch thing they have. Pop that out and like put Geraldine in the center of it. That would be fun. That would be fun. I'm gonna do that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess it's safe to. Time for me to say ta ta and the reader's aim before we meet again. And, um, quick plug yeah, it's gonna be an end credit, so I won't say anything to this channel. Go over to my gaming channel or to my channel on Twitch, uh, Star Passion Gaming. No spaces on Twitch. I just stream games there regularly if that's just, if you're interested in that at all. The, the mascot I have and the icon for this channel is uh, a VTuber persona I've used for that. So yeah, uh, right now main games are kind of like Ghost of Tsushima, Monster Sex Ray, Sly Cooper franchise, moving on to Sly 3 this week, and uh, Bloodborne. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can do for I've already gone through the things, and then say the things, as soon as I stop, thanks to my pre-recorded thing, and sing thing a lot, uh, time to end this thing. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share the video about the place, and if you've watched me a few times or just really like me, consider subscribing and looking at my Patreon. Ta-ta!